Hi everybody! In today's math lesson we will be learning what's called the splitting strategy and it's a strategy for adding multi-digit numbers. So we'll learn a strategy for multi-digit addition by splitting the numbers into friendlier chunks or pieces called their tens and ones. The supplies that you'll need for this lesson today are your whiteboard marker and sock. If you do not have those supplies, go ahead and press the pause button and press play when you're ready to start the lesson. And just to review, numbers have what's called place value. Each part of a number has a value. In the number 235, the 5 has a value of 5 ones, the 3 has a value of 3 tens or 30, and the number, the digit 2, has a value of 2 hundredths or 200. Here's a number story. Let's read it together. There are 23 boys and 25 girls in the lunchroom. How many children are in the lunchroom? You have learned some strategies for adding double digit addition to get numbers together. And today I'm going to show you one that I really like. It's one of my favorites. And it's called the splitting strategy. And the splitting strategy, the first step is to write out the number model. The number not model for this story is 23 plus 25 equals x. For the splitting strategy what we're going to do is take a look at the tens and I draw a line from one ten to the other. It makes a V. And then I also draw another line that connects the ones from the first number to the ones in the second number. If I look at these two tens and these two tens what I really have is 20 plus 20. And over here, I have three ones plus five ones, so that is three plus five. Twenty plus twenty equals forty. Three plus five equals eight. And if we put forty plus eight together, we have forty-eight. So the answer to our problem today is there are forty-eight children in the lunchroom. So the splitting strategy works by breaking apart the numbers into their friendlier parts, and those friendlier parts are those tens and ones. What we're going to do is try a couple more problems. I want you to try them on your own, and then we'll check our answers together. Are you ready? All right, so let's read this number story together. Evan has 45 jelly beans. His friend gave him 43 more jelly beans. How many jelly beans does Evan have now? Together, let's write down the number model. We are talking about getting more jelly beans, so we're going to add the two numbers together. So our number model is 45 plus 43 equals x. What I want you to do is write this number model on your whiteboard and solve this problem using the splitting strategy. Press pause to work through the problem, and then press play when you're ready to check your answer with me. All right, let's get ready to use the splitting strategy and check your work on this one. Remember, we're going to split 45 into tens and ones and 43 into tens and ones. Let's connect our tens. We have four tens here and four tens here. I want to carefully line up my lines and then moving a little space away. I don't want my lines right next to each other. I'm going to connect my ones. My five ones over here and my three ones over here. So looking at my four tens, that's 40, plus these four tens is another 40, and that gives me 80. Then I have these five ones plus these three ones equals 8. Add 80 for my tens plus my 8 ones gives me an answer of 88. So the answer is Evan has four, excuse me, 88 jelly beans now. Let's try another one. All right, for the next two number um, stories, all we did was change the numbers. So the 
the story is pretty much the same. It's still about Evan and his jelly beans. But in this story, Evan started out with 38 jelly beans. His friend gave him 21 more jelly beans. How many jelly beans does Evan have now? I want you to write the number model and then solve using the splitting strategy. Press pause to work through the problem and then press play when you're ready to check your answer with me. Alright, so our number model for this story is 38 plus 21. The splitting strategy, we're going to split up those tens and ones. Take these three tens and these two tens. And we'll take these eight ones and this one one. Three tens plus two tens is the same as 30 plus 20 and that makes 50. Eight ones plus one one is the same as eight plus one and that equals nine. Oh, I forgot my zero here. Then we'll add our tens, 50, and add our ones, nine, to get the answer of 59. Evan has 59 jelly beans now. Let's try one more. All right, for our last story today, again, we have Evan and his jelly beans, and Evan, this time, he has 63 jelly beans, and then his friend gave him 44 more jelly beans. How many jelly beans does Evan have now? Use your whiteboard and marker and write the number model and use the splitting strategy to solve. Press pause to work through the problem and then press play to check your answer with me. All right, again, using the splitting strategy means we're going to split up these numbers into tens and ones. We'll take these six tens and these four tens and that's the same as 60 plus 40. 6 plus 4 is 10, so 60 plus 40 is 100. And then I have my 3 ones here and my 4 ones here. So 3 plus 4 equals 7. Add my 10s, 100, plus my 1s, 7. Gives me a total of 107. Evan now has 107 jelly beans. I hope he shares them. All right. Nice job with our splitting strategy today for double digit addition and subtraction. This is also a great strategy to use if you have numbers that are in the hundreds. You can put the hundreds together and then put the tens together and then put the ones together and add them all up to find your answer.